Hey, it's Luke Lonian, and you're listening to 103.1 KFIL's Coach's Corner On Demand. And with us now on Coach's Corner this morning, the head coach of the Fillmore Central Falcons, it's Chris Mensing. Coach, how's it going today? Going well. Thanks for having me, Luke. Hey, thanks for being your coach. We do appreciate it. Uh, big win for you guys last night over Hayfield at home, 50-7, to the final score you guys take down the Vikings. Uh, take us to the game, Coach, overall, and how you thought your team played. Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought we scored last night. Our team made some improvements in, in a lot of phases. Uh, we did have a little too many penalties. I thought the first first half we had seven penalties for 52 yards and two touchdowns called back So and turned the ball over. Uh, which gave them good field position and gave them their score. So uh, nice improvements in the second half. We had zero penalties, zero turnovers that second half. So we cleaned a lot of things up there. So proud of our kids' effort and concentration and focus there. So uh, started out the game, uh, we had wanted to defer, but we lost the toss and ended up getting the football and took the opening kickoff back for a score. So we had a good start. Uh, Chase Christensen took it in, and the extra point was good. Uh, in our second possession, Dylan O'Connor, handed it off to Kyle Daniels, and he got his first uh, varsity touchdown, took it in from 20 yards out, uh, and then the kick got blocked, so he took an early 13-0 to lead. Uh, and then, of course, had the turnover. Uh, it was a batted ball that got knocked up in the air, and they intercepted it uh, deeper in our territory and ended up scoring on that possession. Um, so it was 13-7 to early, uh, but then our kids responded. The next possession after that, and Bryce Corson carried it in from 12 yards out, and we had a two-point conversion to take that 21-7 to lead into the second quarter. Uh, in the second quarter, uh, Dylan O'Connor threw a pass to Bryce Corson from nine yards out, and we had another two-point conversion. Uh, we decided to go for two there. They jumped off sides, and, and uh, we were going to kick it, and then we got a little closer, so we decided to go for two and, and convert it. So that was a good job by our EAT team. Uh, then in the, also in the second quarter, uh, Bryce carried it in from five yards out, and we added the extra point to take that 36-7 to lead into half. So, uh, like I said, we had a couple other scores called back in the half, but uh, very happy with our output that first, first uh, half of the game. And then in the third quarter, we added the score. Um, Dylan O'Connor threw a pass to Jay Keeney. Jace had an awesome uh, effort there to get the ball in the end zone and reach the ball over the pylon to get in there for the score. Uh, and the extra point was good. And then the final, our JV team, Anthony Keeney, carried the ball real well uh, as he directed our offense and carried it in from three yards out. And the extra point was good there for the 50-7 to final. Strong showing offensively once again uh, for the Fillmore Central Falcons, but the defense as well, holding a Vikings team with some athletes on it just to seven points. He must have been pleased on the defensive side too, Coach. Sure, yeah, absolutely. The uh, We were very pleased, you know, with, uh, Ethan Pack at quarterback, he's got a great arm uh, and uh, got some nice targets to throw to. They got some big offensive linemen. They're running the beer this year uh, and doing some really good things running the ball. Uh, and I thought and on film looked really good in the passing game as well. But our defense really stepped up to the challenge, and we held them to 98 yards on the ground and only uh, one completion for six y- or one out of six for two yards in the passing game. So kept them to 48 plays, and they had 100 yards. So defensively. Uh, we played good team defense, assignment football. Uh, everybody carried out their assignments and, and uh, played good team defense last night. If you want to roll through the, the offensive numbers there, obviously when you put up 50 points, the offense uh, was uh, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, you bet. Uh, well, in the, on offense, like you say, uh, Chase Christensen uh, came in and ran the quarterback position for a little while. I thought he did a good job. But Dylan at the starter, starting position last night uh, was 10 for 14, so again, very defi- efficient. He uh, had 172 yards and two touchdowns. He did have the one interception on the batted ball that uh, that uh, wasn't really his fault there. But uh, anyway, good made good decisions with the ball and spread it around. On the receiving end of those, uh, Jace Keeney caught four balls for 81 yards and a touchdown. Luke Hellickson caught a ball for nine. Uh, Bryce Corson caught a ball for 82 or caught five balls for 82 yards uh, and a touchdown. In the rushing department, we had a lot of people carry the ball last night. Uh, Anthony Keeney, like I said, came in and carried it twice for 21 yards and a touchdown. Josh Hoggard had a big carry for 17 yards, almost got himself into the end zone. Uh, Jake Mandico carried the ball once for 20. Uh, Kyle Daniels had five carries for 42 yards in the score. Uh, Chase Christensen at quarterback came in and carried it four times for 24 yards. Bryce Corson, uh, five carries for 40 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Dylan O'Connor carried the ball three times for eight yards. Uh, Connor Hovey had a carry for five, Noah Rothering two carries for 12 yards, and Jake Fishbacher two carries for six as well. So 
Uh, a lot of people spread that ball around and uh, were very efficient, like you said, on the offensive side. And Coach, uh, you take up uh, the Fairbo BA next week. Uh, you're going to be on the road for a Saturday afternoon game. Uh, and the defense, obviously, like we mentioned already, uh, played very well, very well against uh, Hayfield. What do you expect to see from BA? You know, BA's got some slippery guys. Uh, they got a lot of kids returning. They lost uh, uh, Brady Stratman, one of their leaders from last year's team. But, uh, you know, they, Hayfield took them to the wire. And last night uh, they went up to Randolph and got a one-point win. So, uh, they're always very physical, so we're going to have a, have our hands full next week as we prepare to go to on the road for a long trip to Faribault next week. Chris Mensink with us, the head coach of the Fillmore Central Falcons, a win over Hayfield last night, 50-7. to They're 3-0 and on the season. Coach, uh, anything else you wanted to add in here before we wrap things up? Yeah, you bet. Well, I just first of all want to mention last night was our tackle cancer game. Uh, I want to appreciate the fans that came out and supported that, that cause. Uh, this year, the funds are going to go to the Randy Shaver Foundation. Uh, the Minnesota Football Coaches Association has set a goal to raise four hundred thousand dollars this year. I believe they're getting close to the three hundred or three million dollar mark that they've raised for that cancer research. Uh, and so, it's a it's a pretty impressive organization, and, and ninety per, over ninety percent of those funds um, go for research. There's not many administrative fees, so. Uh, we we want to thank everybody for coming out, and cancer does touch all of us and all of our families and our communities. And we had a, our honorary uh, captain last night, Rhett Carroll, one of our own kindergartners who's battled, was going through a battle himself, and and has been been cleared as cancer free. Uh, so we want to thank that family, and we want to celebrate Rhett last night. So that was a very touching moment last night, and also want to thank uh, Doug Ristow and the Fillmore County Cattlemen for the. The tailgating, and they fed the team steak sandwiches. I know they're uh, they're always uh, appreciative of that. That's one of the team's favorite meals. And and thanks, John, John and Christina Fishbacher for the buns, and Jason Cosman provided the the uh, drinks last night, and Kim and Lynn Ristel for the fixings as well. So uh, once again, great community support. We had a great crowd out there last night, and it was a great community event. Very cool to hear that, Coach. We do appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Congrats on uh, the win, not just on that, but, of course, uh, putting out a great event with Tackle Cancer and, and how you're able to support it, not just uh, the community supporting you guys, but you guys supporting the community, too. I uh, haven't read out there as an honorary captain. Very cool to hear that. And uh, good luck here next week against BA. All right. Thanks a lot. we got more Coach's Corner on the way next this morning right here on 103.1 KFIL.